Hey there everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. We're gonna be doing some Distress Ink watercoloring and smushing. Distress inks are a versatile coloring medium that are perfect for using them with water. So you can watercolor with them, you can ink blend, of course you can add water splatters because they're water reactive, and ink smushing is one of those really cool techniques that creates some absolutely unique effects. So in today's video, I'm using the Mama Elephant Hot Air Balloon Stamp and Coordinating Dies. I'll be using the three hot air balloons from the stamp set. I'm gonna stamp them with black ink. This is Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink onto watercolor paper. The reason I chose the Intense Black Ink is because it is perfectly safe to use with water for watercoloring. It's also safe for Copic markers. It's a really versatile ink. One of those staples that you can use for pretty much anything. I'm going to smush out some different inks from Tim Holtz's Distress Ink line, and I'm smushing them onto our Simon Says Stamp magnetic glass mat. So this mat is, of course, magnetic, like the name suggests, but because it's glass, it works really well for water coloring techniques, and because the mat is white, you can see the colors perfectly. So I'm going to watercolor these images and we're going to do a bit of a looser watercoloring technique, which means you don't have to be perfect with your coloring. The more imperfect, the better. So I'm putting down different colors and you can color these balloons however you want. I chose a nice rainbow of colors and I'm mixing them around. And of course, if you wanna know the exact colors that I used, I do have them linked below in the video description for you to check out. One of the big things to remember about doing a loose water coloring technique like this is that having hard lines and water spots actually makes these look even more cool. So as you can see, I'm mixing in different colors, I'm letting those colors have some nice harsh lines, and I'm splattering every so often with water to get some water spots. So just play with the layers and figure out what you like best. And, and when you have everything completely colored the way you like, then I would totally finish things off with one more round of splatters because that gives everything a lot of nice texture. So as you can see, I colored the balloons and now I'm working on coloring the critters that are in each of the balloons. These guys are so cute. I did bring in some gray and brown for coloring in the critters and also the baskets for each of the hot air balloons. Now for the elephant, I do wanna point out, I actually colored him with a teal. That makes a really nice bright pop of color on this balloon. And I really liked how the teal played around with the different colors along with the background. So here I've transitioned over to the background. I'm letting those water coloring critters dry and we're going to ink smush some peacock feathers, which is what I used to color the elephant, onto some stamp packaging. And we're gonna use that stamp packaging to be basically a carrier sheet for the ink. A lot of people will show you how to ink smush by pressing the color down onto their mat and then picking up the color from the mat. But I don't like that because I can't see what I'm doing. I don't like being totally surprised at how something's going to turn out. So I have found that doing ink smushing with a carrier sheet, so basically any sort of thin plastic that you can kind of flex around and maneuver well, is the best way to carry ink and smush it down onto your paper. So once you get the smushing how you like it, I always like to finish things off again with water splatters because distress inks are one of those unique mediums that will react super well to water. And it will add some variation to the background, which I love. So I dried those water spots a little bit to really embed them into the ink. And then I just dabbed off any excess water and that really gives a nice contrast. So I'm pulling out the coordinating dies and I'm gonna tape them down onto my watercolor paper with just some low tack tape and run these through my die cut machine. Once I've cut them out, I also cut out a sentiment. This is from the Simon Says Stamp Scripty Hugs sentiment set. And I'm just going to go ahead and put them inside of a sheet of micro dots. These adhesive dots are perfect for stacking die cuts because it's so quick and easy. All you have to do is lay the die cut into the adhesive and then put the release paper over top, burnish, over top of the release paper, and then that's going to transfer those micro dots onto your piece, and then you can stack them really easily. I thought I'd embellish this sentiment a bit more by adding some stickles along the bottom half only of the greeting. So it kind of gives it a little bit of a dip dye effect, like we dipped it in some glitter. I did incorporate some more of that glitter throughout my project by adding it onto different accents of the balloons. 
I liked that the banners and some of the strings got covered with the glitter and that adds just a little bit of sparkle, not too much. It's very subtle, but it adds that nice finishing touch to these pieces. I'm going to pop them up onto my card here. This is a slimline sized card. I've trimmed down the background panel a little bit so we have a nice white border. I've popped the balloons up off of the card with foam tape and then I did die cut a few clouds from a Simon Says Stamp die set and I just layered those behind the balloons and glued them down with liquid glue. Same thing with the hugs greeting, I use liquid glue and then I have this nice for array of sequins that I'm just sprinkling around the images and I'm gluing down with some clear adhesive and that's going to really add to the sparkle factor here. So once I have all these glued down, I'll tip this in the light and you can see how those sequins just catch the light. They're very subtle in the background so that the balloons stay as the main focal point, but it also provides movement. So when you're looking at this, you kind of really get the sense that these balloons are kind of floating through the air and I think it's really cute. So that completes this very adorable and I have to say it's a very simple card to put together. Don't stress about the watercoloring allow the organic factor of a imperfect watercolor to really add interest to your coloring because I think that's what makes these balloons so much fun is that they have so much texture and detail to them. I hope you were inspired by today's project. I hope you'll give these techniques that I shared today a try. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspiration. So until I see you all again, I hope everyone has a fabulous day and thanks so much for watching.